Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So, today I'm going to open up this uh, Star Wars Forces of Destiny Princess Leia um, Organa. And uh, the reason why I wanted to open her or get her was because I'm always trying to find a good R2-D2. Let me explain for a minute. Okay, so here's R2-D2 from the Black Series. And I'm using this just for size comparison. And uh, what's so cool about this particular one is you can rotate him and his wheel goes up and down in the middle. When I was a kid, I actually would add my own wheel to mine that was from uh, my Micronauts that I'd stick in the bottom. Anyway, so take a look at the size comparison and you can see that R2-D2 is um, about maybe waist high on her. And then on Luke, you know, it's, it's between mid-thigh and waist. And then even on uh, C-3PO, it's about waist high again. In fact, what's funny is if you look in the movie, you see him rest his hand on his head. So you know R2-D2 is about that height. So at one time, I bought this cool R2-D2, kind of a cool stocky one and has some cool features and stuff. And uh, I'd use this with my He-Man figures because it's very He-Man-ish looking R2-D2. But when you put a He-Man figure next to this little R2-D2... You know, it's it's so small in comparison, it just doesn't work to mix the universes with this little dinky R2-D2. Now, this bigger one does work better, but still is not quite tall enough. It should be about right here at the bottom of his loincloth to be the right height. So, I'm hoping this R2-D2 will be better. If it goes up to here, I'm fine with that. Anywhere in this range from the waist to the thigh um, cut off would be awesome. So, let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. So, in case you didn't notice, I have a whole bunch of rose figures behind me here. Look at all those roses everywhere. Um, and uh, if you're wondering why, stay tuned and you will find out um, in the next few weeks why I have so many rose figures. Anyway, we'll get back to that some other time. So, let's open up this uh, Princess Leia. Now, again, I bought her for two reasons. One is for the robot, the R2-D2, and the other I will show you in a moment. So let's go ahead and chop this down. You know what? Let's look at the back of the box while we're cutting this open. So you can see there all the cool things you can do with her. You can make her stand next to stormtroopers you don't have. You can have her shoot a laser blast with the special effects that you don't have. You can put her in a cool background scene with stuff you don't have. Look how small this is compared to her. There is no way it's that small in comparison. And then uh, you can have her stand like that. Put her hood on with one hand up. Have her get smashed in the trash compactor. That's where I would put her. I'd make a cool background set of her being crushed in the, in the trash compactor. That would be awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, oh. just slicing this poor box up. You know, it's funny. I spent all this time carefully opening these boxes. When I'm off camera, I just throw them downstairs for the recycling and whoop, off they go. So I don't know why I spend so long. Well, you know what? That's kind of cool. It actually has already a background for us. So that's kind of fun. So if you want to, you could just pose it right behind this background. Let's see if we can get this off without destroying the background. That would be really nifty. So it's got a bunch of little plastic ties on here. I know this part's so boring when you're doing a live video. Oh, things are falling. Must have been the stand for her to stand on. Ugh. All right. Nope, no speed up footage, no music montage. You just get to watch me chop these off one at a time, slowly and methodically. But the cool thing is, if this is not the preview, you guys can actually fast forward. So if you're watching this later and not watching it live with the rest of us, you can just fast forward past me cutting these things off. See, you have the power. Say it. 
I have the power. Okay, one last one to cut off. Of course, they got it all taped up to make it even harder. Whew. A lot of plastic pieces. Like the first thing we have is the Star Wars stand. And I imagine this goes up here. And she has her built-in chastity belt. There we go. And this is taped on there. Let's see. Oh, almost came off cleanly, but not quite. So that's the end of my diorama. I might use this head for some kind of custom. I don't know. I might give her to my granddaughters too. They might appreciate a little Princess Leia. It's like they tied her in here pretty good. They don't want her escaping, running off with Buzz and Woody. Wow, they really tied her in here pretty good. Let's just slip her out of there. Even her dress has a tie going through it like a second-hand store. Let's get that off there. I always hate that when they do that because then it causes, see? There's a little rip right there where it used to be. You can never get away from that. All right. There's Princess Leia. Oh, her shoulders do move. Okay, so quick articulation. Uh, knees, her legs. Uh, looks like her boots come off. That's kind of a cool design. They pop open and back. Uh, let's see. Her waist does not turn, no crunch. She has a large belt. Shoulders go up and down, back and forth, elbow. And the wrist has articulation, and of course the head has quite articulation. And she has this plastic sticking out of her head from that one tie that we did in the back. Let's just cut this close and push it in her head. Boop. Because I could pull her head off. I'll get it later. All right, and then she has her hood. That is huge. Ah, there we go. Ta-da! And of course she has a gun because you wouldn't be a princess without a gun. Huh. Take that, you vermin. All right, there we go. There is Princess Leia. Roop, roop. There she is. All right, now I was hoping to use her clothing for my custom Princess Leia that I made. Uh, you can see here. But obviously that clothing would be huge on her. I was hoping I could just kind of roll the sleeves and roll the bottom, but I think by the time I was done, it'd look ridiculous. I know this looks bad already because, you know, the sleeves aren't long enough and her bottom's not long enough, but oh well. It'd be better than wearing a, a granny suit. So, the part you've been waiting for, the R2-D2, which is still sealed in here because they want to make sure that you doesn't fall out of the package accidentally. The Jawas must have wrapped them up in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look, they got weathering on this. They got some really good detailing on this. That is cool. The wheels don't roll, but I have to admit the, the dirtying up they did on this, that is really cool. The head rotates. It's really loose, so you can just spin this thing at top, Woo! and uh, no center wheel. So if I want to keep this one, I may design some sort of center wheel to go in there, any kind of fun, but let's check it for height. So let's get the head on right. There we go, let's first check the Princess Leia it came with it, and it is uh, mid-thigh, and you can see that in comparison to our other one that that is not accurate for the height. But how is it with a He-Man figure? 
Oh, it's a little taller than I wanted. That's okay. I think I can live with that. I'd rather have a large R2-D2 than a small one. Oops, I guess I was off camera, wasn't I? Okay, let's go back to Princess Leia again. Boop, boop. There we go. The other Princess Leia, the height difference. So way too small for this one, but too big for He-Man, but it's okay. Like I said, he'd far rather have too big of uh, R2-D2 than too small. Because, you know, this is just way too little of an R2-D2. It doesn't even look like a opposable type force of any type at all. And this one's cool, but just a little too short. But I do prefer this one over the black for using for He-Man figures. There you go. I got my R2-D2 finally after years and years of searching for one that would just about work okay for this. That will work pretty good. That's just crazy how loose that head is. Very simple articulation. But I gotta admit, I, I love the way they made that look weathered like that. That's really cool. All right, that's all that I have. Oh, I forgot to show you the chastity belt stand. I don't know why they make a stand like this. This just seems so bizarre to me. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, my granddaughters will probably inherit this Princess Leia. I'm not sure which one I'll give it to yet. I might give it to the two little ones. I don't know. I'll find out who likes Star Wars the best and give it to them. So... Anyway, may the force be with you. I'll see you guys later. Bye now. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. And look forward to find out why I have so many roses. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got over half a dozen roses. Woo. All right, you guys. Bye now.